Hi and welcome back to Rad Riders. I've just done a video of my 1000 mile review on this bike. I've done 1050 miles on it so far. Um, can't fault the bike at all. One niggling problem and it is one tiny niggling problem that I'm finding at 70 mile an hour. I'm getting slight vibrations in the seat. Don't get them anywhere in the feet, don't get them on the, the, the grips. But just in the seat, I don't know if it's because I've got, I've got it on the high seat setting and the firmest suspension from a height, six foot two and 16 stone, that may be something to do with it. But it's a slight niggle and if you're doing an hour on the bike, two hours, it doesn't, it doesn't bother you at all. But the other day I was doing a 10 hour stint on the bike and it was irritating me after about two hours. I was finding, trying to get myself comfy. I was sliding around the seat and I went back into my shed and I had a look and I had an old sheepskin. So I thought, I'll put the sheepskin cover on there. I'm not really a massive fan of these. Um, they do look a bit like, um, well, a sheepskin. So I did put that on the seat and it did make a massive difference. Um, it absorbed quite a bit of those vibrations. But I thought, I don't like the sheepskin on there because they get wet, they get smelly. So I did send off for a product on AliExpress. I was looking on, on Royal Enfield's website for the air cool seat cover and I couldn't find one for this model. I could find them for the 411, but not for the 450. So I went on to AliExpress, which I bought a lot of gear off recently and I've been very, very impressed with the quality and the speed it's getting to me uh, at. So I looked for the air cool seat cover for the passenger and the pillion pad and um, I ordered it and seven days later, it arrives. Now I've had these on a lot of my bikes and because if it does get hot, it does keep that airflow on your seat. It does absorb a bit because it is cushioned as well. So it does absorb a bit of vibrations on my CRF. I noticed a massive difference. And of course, if they get wet, the water just drains away. So here they are. This one's obviously for the main rider seat. Velcro's down in two sections elasticated for around the seat and yeah quite spongy spongy cushioning i've got one also for the pillion pad because it came with it you couldn't buy them separately so let's get these on the bike see how easy they are to fit and see what they look like here's the original seat it isn't a hard seat but again just a thousand miles it's not going to be broken in properly yet uh, you release the seat by the key there. Pillion pad comes off first and then the main seat. But that's how it looks. It's wide enough and comfortable enough to spread your weight while you're riding the bike. But I just find just about here, there's just that minor vibration. Now, I've got the suspension on its toughest, highest, and its seat on its highest. Maybe that's something to do with it, because I never noticed it before, but it's only on long trips, and I plan on doing a lot of long trips. So, key in the lock, and underneath there you've got your tool kit, and your socket to get your front wheel off, and then the, then the rider's seat just comes out. These are the settings that I've got it on. As you can see, they are adjustable and I've got them on the high setting for me. Let's get these pads on and see how it looks. It's a nice stretchy fit. There's plenty of give in these. Then of course the Velcro straps attach underneath to give it a snug fit. Same on the pillion pad. You turn it over. Yeah, that's looking very good. Let's connect it all together and see how it looks. The final look with the covers on. Stretch nice, there's quite a bit of excess to tuck under both the pillion and the rider. Uh, but a nice snug fit and it's just giving it that cushion. And it'll flow there through, so on hot days it will naturally flow through, keep the seat nice and cool. And on wet days, it'll drain through. Um, that just a little bit of difference on the honeycomb cushioning 
should make the difference to the vibration. So let's take it out for a ride and see if that cures it. Let's test out the seat cover. It feels a little bit more grippy, initial inspection of it. So I feel more planted in the seat. A uh, little spongy, which is good, but not too spongy. Coming up to 39, 40 mile an hour. No vibrations whatsoever. Yeah, it's really comfortable. The nice thing is the air is circulating. Um, it's a pretty windy day today. It's not cold, it's about 18 degrees. But there's a nice breeze and uh, that's getting through the seat and keeping me comfortable. So not as it only improved the cushion, it's improved the airflow. And I've got one of these on my other bike, my CRF, and it's waterproof. So if it does rain, the water just soaks away through the honeycomb layers and disperses onto the seat, keeping the seat dry. Now on the way down here, on the motorway, I did get up to them 70, 75 and 80 mile an hour. I didn't film that because it's, it's motorway, it's, it's pretty boring. This is the type of stuff that I like to do. We're on our way to uh, Eccleston Delft Bike Meet. There's not many left now, um, coming towards the end of the season. I think we've got about four or five weeks left. Well, tonight's speciality is steak sandwiches with onions and mushrooms and real chips, or proper chips as they put in the adverts. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, when we get home, it'll be a little bit darker, so we'll do a little bit of night riding. I see lots of bikers. You get quite a number down here on a Tuesday night. Eccleston Delft Diving Centre. Check it out. Back to the air cool seat cover. 75. 80 mile an hour on the motorway the bits that was really annoying me I've just done 40 minutes on the motorway and although it hasn't cured it 100% the difference it has made makes up for it I bought these off Aliexpress it was £18 there was VAT on top of that and put free delivery they came within a week they're easy to fit, they look nice, they do look nice, they do suit the bike. Um, and I've got the airflow for summer and I've got the waterproofing for winter and it takes the edge off that vibe, which is exactly what I wanted. So I win three ways. For such a small outlay of cash, it's massively improved the ride of this bike. And as I mentioned, I'm being really, really picky at the small vibrations. But if you're spending eight, nine, ten hours like I did last week in the saddle, every little bit of comfort really, really helps. So overall, it's a massive win for me. I will leave a link in the description where I got mine from, and you can check them out yourself. And I didn't expect them to be a total fix, 100% fix. It's a single then, it's a 450, 452 single. But if you're maintaining motorway speeds at 70, 75 and overtaking, it's an investment not worth being without. As I've stated previously, this is my travel bike. This is my, well, it's my everyday go-to rider, commuter, weekend bit of fun. But ultimately, this is the bike I'm going to be doing long distances on. So, as much comfort as you can, without breaking the bank, makes all the difference. An £18 plus VAT, don't break the bank. 
half penny lane. This is where it's at. I wonder how many people will be here when this place is sunny. It is heaving, absolutely heaving. And you get quite a wide range of bikes from Honda Cubs, C90, C50s to good old classics. Cheers, mate. And here we go. Busy day. Busy, busy, busy day. Let's go and get a steak sandwich and check out the bikes. Catch you in a bit.